bra guys wonder how cta conversations are so long man but then the amount of wisdom i say in i mean 16 years worth of experience yeah. is a lot of wisdom that you're sharing correct and you you are qua ground so you're telling people about qua ground over those 16 years yeah. from school to music to now we've just touched on radio so let's go let's go back to this radio story mini bamba yeah. yeah so caroline asked me to do the the voice test so voice test for those who are wondering what it is it's, it's, it's like a demo you, you they have to see you have to record into a microphone and they have to listen and see is this voice palatable to our radio station um when so, sound heavy na audience eh, i could feel i could feel my yeah. jama like you know they're looking for a smooth talker but you're bringing some raspy stuff mm. you know it's uh, different stations look for different yeah things. because you can even go with energy and that's not what they're looking for exactly so they're like okay no we've 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 we'll save this for the time we need something like this yes. yeah so they put in a voice bank so so i i, I go up and i'm uh introduce a guy called Lance in Swahili and he tells me ukutari kamwambia ukutari so I ask him what do you require I always ask my clients what do you what do you what do you expect from me what do you what do you want so the guy tells me you just uh, do a link uh as if you you you're talking to the to the audience you can back an our song introduce a topic feel free to do it how you feel it should be done so, so, so that's what he told me and, and I went so I did something in Shang I did something in English and I did various takes um various pops uh, tones and energy mm. and then i left it at that so i asked caroline when when can i expect to, to hear from you she says i'll call you <laughs> you know what that means man yeah. i'll call Don't you call. when a client tells you i'll call you you're not sure if you did a great job or if you're gonna get a call but i left you get one week later she gave me a call and she called me to the office and she asked me if i'm ready i told her yes when can i start i told her immediately and I started immediately so I started now with training obviously I didn't have a media background mm-hmm. and uh, you know I just want to say thank you to Kiss 100 I never said thank you to them but thank you to Caroline and Kiss because they trained me how to be a presenter what is it, what, what does it take to be a tra- you if let's say you've got the opportunity to pass forward what they taught you um, what they, are some of the things so, so many things man uh, how do you even begin so first how they do their training or how they did it at the time was was shadowing job shadowing mm. so I what job, job shadowing means is I'd sit in uh, and listen when other presenters are presenting their shows mm. so I sat in when uh, she was doing her show with uh, Jalango and and Larry Asego mm-hmm. then I sat in for Sana's show then I'd sit in for Kalechi and Shafi's show mm. so I'd sit in the whole day it's like class mm. so as they are speaking I'm learning mm. I'm learning how to talk how to link how to back and and during the breaks they're talking to me and and I'm able to observe so I went to the notebook those days I used to like write a lot today nowadays I write on my phone mm. digital man yeah so get I evolved so I used to write like do your links like this back on a song like this talk about the artist talk about the song the year the production and what the song means to you engage the audience say your name say the, talking. say the station ID let's say it's kiss 100 um 100.3 FM Nairobi you do the other frequencies that exist across the country and then go into the, the the conversation of that link let's say now you're doing you do weather traffic sports or a topic of whatever it may be sure. so so i learned that on the job and did you know what had they already told you where you're going to be what show you're going to be running no so they just told you hey we're going to hire you yeah I was, i was just thrown into like deep end were you put on a salary immediately yeah i was and you're still in school yeah you still got to fight for entertainment yeah <laughs> but now here I used to do I used to, so I told Kylan I'm in school so she understands what I did I moved my classes uh, around so let's say uh, initially when I was doing training I was doing day class I was I was, I was doing now evening classes mm-hmm. but thereafter they placed me on the evening show so now I moved my classes to day daytime and Saturdays when was the first time you went live can you remember I went live in in December 2008 yo yeah so I I, I didn't do shadowing for too long I did shadowing Kidogo and then they threw me deep end. And they and they gave you um what time? What time slot? They gave me 8 to 10 p.m. Yo. Monday to Thursday. Yo. Yeah. So I worked through Christmas, New Year's. I didn't go on holiday. Let just explain to people. By the way, I have a I have a Caroline Mutoko Kiss FM story that I would love one day to share when I'm interviewed. I'm just saying that now so this that it, I can find no 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 this is not the proper <laughs> time. Uh, uh, but that woman has been amazing also in my life. Um mm. she's the one who gave me the first opportunity to do what I'm doing now. You know 
Caroline Mtoko means a lot of things to different people. Yeah. yeah. Caroline Mtoko, people used to say very tough, rough, what? But Caroline Mtoko showed me, t- taught me discipline. Because I was coming from a place where I'm just doing my thing. But she, as you said, she gave me structure. Mm. She taught me, you need to come on time. You do your show on time. You do your show like this. This is what guys expect. Even things like emails. I learned my email structuring through Caroline. Mm. She do you an email brief where pretty much it's self-explanatory. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those really detailed emails. And then Caroline also taught me work ethic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. I'd be cracking with my pals on a Sunday afternoon and Caroline has sent me an email for a brief that I need to execute on Monday in the evening. Mm. Like she was so focused on the job and and that now forced me to step up even more. Yeah. When when I started doing this digital yeah. world, guys would tell me now shooting content creation because we pioneered that space yeah. with this guy. In fact it was me and Derek who used to shoot Caroline. I used to we see we, we go way back. Yeah. Guys will tell me, oh, I can't do three videos a day. I'm too busy. I'm like, what do you mean you're yeah, too busy? Now this block shooting is the... Is the we we started this shoot at 7 a.m. You're, you're and it's past one and exactly. we're keep, keeping it moving. No, I'm like, you're telling me you're too busy. <laughs> Caroline, what do you think she is? Yeah. You get, yeah. not only is she on radio in the morning, yeah. at she's the same time, she's also controller. program controller working, going for client meetings. So I was like, Meeting, nini, exactly. looking for jobo. Yeah. So I'd be like, it's not you're too busy. You just don't prioritize this. Right. And you don't plan. It's all about planning. I, I wanted to say this thing. There's something that you've said. Radio is a killer because working every single Monday to Thursday you burn out. for a year means you can't take off for two weeks. Yeah, you take like two days, three days max. You have to you have to plan it from the Thursday when you're leaving yeah. to be back by Sunday and then be a jo- 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 Monday. Believe it or not, even when I was leaving Kiss, that was one of my issues because I needed more time to do my thing. So like, I, because by the time I was leaving Kiss, they had given me another show. I was doing a show called Keeping It Kenyan. On top of my weekly show, mm-hmm. I was doing a Saturday show from midday to three. Playing sure. Kenyan music every Saturday. And then I brought in a DJ. That was the first time there was a DJ on that show called DJ Wiz. It was a 254 DJ so for entertainment. And, and then they gave me a contract for TV. So I joined Kiss TV. So I used to do all that. And then Kiss TV, I had... I had Three shows. I had total re- video requests that used to air Monday to Friday. Monday, yeah, Monday to Friday. Then I had uh, Nairobi's Sizzling 20. And then I had Mzuka. I had three shows on TV and two shows on radio. And let me ask you, <laughs> was this with Mochums? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, so I had two contracts, radio contract. And obviously, when they add you a show, they add you money. Then when they gave me a TV role, they also gave me a TV contract with no money. So I was reporting to do two different bosses. The late Makari was my boss. Yeah. Head of TV, Kiss TV, and then radio. So so I felt like now to do my events, gigs, and all that, because as my also radio also helped catapult my brand to another level. That's something I must say. Because being on, on radio, people would listen. And then Kiss is a big station. Kiss, was big. Kiss has always been a big station. Mm. You know, so my brand grew, client demands grew, man. I was being called for gigs. So sometimes I'd get a gig on a Saturday. And then I'm, I'm needed on air on a Saturday. So I have to take leave. So my leave days are running out. <laughs> and you've planned for red deck. flags in HR, <laughs> Nini. My boss, Caroline, wasn't too pleased about that. Mm. You know? Because your, your side hustle is beginning. Not your side hustle. The main hustle. It's, or or not one of the other revenue streams. Yeah, it's popping. Zaidi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's popping because of where you are right now. It's a mix of everything. You see, everything you do, has a role uh-huh. in the journey. So nice. yes, I'd been doing MCing and I'd taken my brand to a certain level, but now because of radio, it was amplified. Ooh. Now with television, it's next level. Now guys are seeing my face. There's a difference between hearing your voice and hearing you say your name, that this is DNG on Kiss 100, 8 to 10, the journey plan. And now guys seeing you on TV, saying, issue in it to Mzuka, in a countdown, Yamziki, Akeni, Lena, Bamba, Sai. Number, let's say number 10, we have ne, 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 ne. Yeah. number nine. Ne, ne, ne. So, guys, now are seeing you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so, obviously, mm-hmm. the brand and there's explodes. ways you could incorporate the MC into into TV. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's ways so you don't stand out like the normal presenter, presenters. exactly. So, my shows were very vibrant and crazy, and even like sometimes uh, MD PQ never used to understand my style. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this guy talks too much. <laughs> but hey, you know, so picky when used to watch. Yeah, yeah, he was keen. He didn't even come to check. He was on ground hands on. I was just that guy who stood out. How, as, how long were you at Kiss? a different Keith? breed. I joined Kiss in 2008, December, and I was leaving in 2011. Yo, that's a long time. It's a long time, man. Okay, dude, let me ask. In this time now, money is no longer becoming an issue. Yeah, Or is I, it? I was being paid proper. Am I what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I so angry. you're no longer in that ka- so, one room house. So, no, I moved from from that unit, that one bedroom unit mm-hmm. to uh, a three bedroom house in called Safari Safari Park View Estate. So now we had three housemates, myself, Sheila Komboka, And, oh. and a lady called uh, Eve Madai. And guess you, at that point we were saying me and Sheila were having a thing because we're always together. But we were just friends. Oh. Yeah, so we, so in fact, even Sheila sometimes used to hang out in our own bedroom initially before we mm. moved. Because you see, when, when my child started checking in, slowly I felt like now I was in a good place. I could now move to a bigger space. So that's when I, I moved out of Meg, Meg, Megwe's house to this three bedroom. Mm. So I was always a smart guy. I felt like E3 bedroom I think the time it, it was being charged 35k so we split the rent so we're paying 12 12 mm-hmm. 12 1k is a service charge is a bit of can in some paper bag ni ni smell eh na pia tunacheza sana OBP ya demo kuosha nini well pia you can na pia next week hivyo can food make up pamoja tuka hizo so And what about your campo? Is your campo? Oh, of course, your campo now is in more demand because yeah. you're hook on. Yeah. And I can imagine they come to bring their share to kiss. Uh, were you only presenting, or were you now entering even meeting conversations and things? Yeah, sometimes clients would request to meet the presenters that will push the campaigns. So I was being exposed now to brand managers, media buyers, agencies. So I was growing, I was networking, nini. It was a really good platform. Okay, you know I actually thought you left Kiss because you were poached by 1FM. No, I left based on that. The 1FM conversation happened immediately after. Because uh, what happened is when I left Kiss it hit the newspapers. Pulse wrote about it kama kawaida. <laughs> the only right is negative stuff. <laughs> like the NG has left Kiss so then there was a rumor you have I been fired have I not I resigned. And the core reason why you resigned is because your baby was dying. It no, needed your time. I needed I needed time to MC. You see, MC gigs uh, were popping. That time I was like working with brands like uh, Coke. I was working with agencies like EXP, Red Card and Panda Nice. What are you now at? Like I'm about 120, 150. Yo. Depending on which client it is. Mm-hmm. So you see when I'm doing 2, 3 gigs, it's beating the salon <laughs> in 2 days. Ah uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I get. You get I yeah? get. No, yeah. no, no, no. Because my agency is also popping and making money here and there. I'm like I need time so I'm trying to negotiate my time it's not working because it was a very strict leave days mm-hmm. where I'm, I don't know 24 leave days kind of 21 I can't remember yeah so I had no time for my other thing and I got tired of like being questioned about that because it's not pause 